What's up guys, Dalton Smith from MPI Productions and today I've got a thick electric skateboard tutorial video for you. And these are actually easier processes than you would think, so we're going to start with the belt. I've got all my tools over here. We're going to start out with our pliers. Next, we've got a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, an extra little torque screwdriver here with some star keys, you might need those. A couple of Allen keys, this comes with your thick electric skateboard. And then we've got a socket wrench. I've also got these almost like pry bars that are used to separate the rim. I think you can get these with a patch kit at Walmart. We're gonna go ahead and take the drive wheel off and replace the belt. So the first step is to get your pliers and remove this nut right here. All of the thick electric skateboard belts are super durable and built to last, but they do wear and you're gonna need to replace them. So listen for a slipping sound. You know that you're getting towards the end of its life. Once we've got this bolt off, we're gonna go ahead and just pull the tire up and spin it. This is gonna release it from the belt and we should be able to come right off. Keep track of your washer and your lock nut. Set your wheel to the side. So you're gonna need a small Allen key to get the cover off right here, but you can use a star key. It'll lock in, get the thing right out of there. And now we've got where your belt is gonna be rotating and a lot of things can go wrong if you don't take care of it properly. So from time to time, I'll come in here and I'll tighten up these little bolts just to make sure nothing's moving around. You can actually get belt slipping if any of this comes loose. Go ahead and remove your belt. Mine is still good. I've had it on there for about two weeks. And if you know me, I ride every single day. So this guy's still ready to go. What you would do is just throw this in the garbage if you need it, get your new belt. You want to come down and go around the small sprocket, make sure that it's all the way threaded in between the teeth, and then just open it up on the big side over here. And after that, you're pretty much set up. There's not much left to do inside of there. Everything looks good. All right, so once we've got our guard on there, make sure the belt's still opened up and ready to go. Get your drive wheel, drop it on the axle, and right now all I'm gonna do is push down and turn counterclockwise. After about two turns, it'll pop down onto the belt and we're good to go. Throw on your washer first and then your lock nut. And then just tighten down the big nut. So when I'm tightening this thing, which right now feels like three days, I will go until it's snug. You don't want to over tighten, you don't want to under tighten. Give it a spin, should feel good. And that's uh, all there is to change your belt. And this is gonna work for the street surfer and the big daddy. Uh, all right guys, so here I have the shorty. This is a super fun board, good for skate parks, sidewalks, universities, pliers. Take that wheel off. Give the wheel a pull. Keep in mind that this is not a tube and tire. This is actually a rubber wheel. Got the same size Allen key on this one as the big daddy. So go ahead and remove both of these. Take your belt guard and set it to the side. Pull the belts out. If you need to throw it out, get a new one. Again, we just replaced this, so she's still good to go. We're gonna put it around the small sprocket, making sure that the teeth are all lined up. I like to give it a little pull, and let it spin around just to set it in. Belt guard back on. Tighten down both of the Allen screws, making sure it's really snug so we don't lose anything. Same thing, push down and turn counterclockwise. Eventually, you'll hear it pop down into the belt. You're set, lock nut. Tighten this nut down all the way, making sure that it's snug but not over tightened. And that's it right there guys. Now you know how to change the belt on your street surfer, shorty, and big daddy. It's about a five minute process once you get it on lock. Carry one with you at all times, have some tools, and you guys will be ready to ride.